Okay, Adam, a fine 5-4 home win against Lewis. 2-0 um, down after 15 minutes. Uh, I was a bit worried at that point. Um, but obviously we got back into the game, grew into the game. Uh, what were your ever, overall thoughts of the game? Yeah, just um, you know, full credit to the players, really, to, to keep going. I think um, getting the first goal so soon after their, their second one just really did settle us down a little bit. And um, to, yeah, to rally the way we did and respond the way we did. And just felt like watching the game up in the stand, there was, there was spaces for us and there was going to be chances. And it was just whether we could take them. And obviously... Delighted to, to come in at 3-2 at half-time was, was massive for us and I think that gave the players a lot of belief. Yeah, and then obviously uh, straight away in the second half, Pat, uh, Jasper with a, with a header at the back post makes it 4-2. Makes it um, and then another goal by goal in the 61st minute makes it 5-2. And then we looked to control the game and the referee gave what I thought was a very dubious handball against Joel Colbrand. No, yeah, I thought it was a bit harsh on him to be fair. It was quite close to him. I think it was more of a reaction. He just... Gone, he hasn't put his arms out, but you know, it's, it is what it is, it's been given, and we've got to deal with it. And then, obviously, the, the lads hit an absolute rocket, it's one of the best goals I think we'll witness live. That's to be honest, um, unbelievable strike. Uh, and then it's <laughs> you know, a nervous time again when maybe you know, it should have been a little bit more comfortable. Um, but you know, you got to, you got to credit them. Um, I thought they're a great side, they've got lots of firepower up top. Uh, I thought there was some good performance on, on our behalf for Aaron Dunn well at the back and Danny Barker in particular. They're probably, and Harrison won't get the recognition. Maybe, you know, the, the forwards get the recognition today, but there was some good, it was good team performance. There wasn't many players up there that didn't, you know, do themselves justice. Yeah, like you say, Harrison uh, made a couple of good saves. You've got um, Oli Pingus, another two goals. Yeah. Dijon Golding with another two goals. It looks like from the start of the season where we were making chances, we weren't putting them away. Now it's it's the total opposite, and it's costing me a fortune on sponsor a goal. <laughs> no, I will do, yeah. Um, you know, why would you do that? Follow the Worthing team, I don't know, sponsor a goal. But no, yeah, it's 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 exciting stuff. Um, like I say, we want to get back to you know keeping the ball out of the net because we always feel with the firepower we got, and you know these boys now starting to play with a bit of confidence. Um, we can score going another way. Um, but you know, I think just full sort of uh, credit to, to the players and how they've gone about uh, their business in the last three games, three real tough games, um, back to back and you know come through it with not only wins and a draw but really good performances as well. I think we've sort of dominated a big parts of each of those games and showed um, you know just what a good good side they are. Yeah and I think when you look at the, the three games I think um, I'm over the optimist, I said nine out of nine. Uh, but most people said if we got out of it with two two draws, um sorry, a draw and two wins, that that would be that would be really positive. Yeah, I think um, you know, drawing away at Enfield's never a bad result. Um we see their result today. Um so never a bad result, but we're obviously disappointed with the goals we gift, gifted away there really. It was a bit bit um like mentally just switched off I think with a couple of goals. So um, yeah, I think, like we say, we aim for perfection, so nine points out of nine is what we sort of aim for. Um, and yeah, we keep striving until we can, can, can do better, and it's still, you know, we've gone 2-0 down at home today, so there's still loads for us to improve on, but there's some really good signs and some really good stuff at the same time. Yeah, I think you said after the Kingstonian game, what a great ever for non-league football. Yeah. Um, I think this was even better than the Kingstonian yeah. game, to be honest. No, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, been involved in, in two great games there in the last three. I mean, Enfield wasn't a bad one, I suppose, for a neutral as well, two or draw. But, you know, I say, I still think there's, there's more to come from us in terms of um, the goals we conceded and there's some sloppy ones today. We another one from a set piece that we have to look at. Um, so, yeah, um, all in all, like I say, full credit to the players and now they've, they've worked their socks off today. Um, but, you know, with the expectation and how how we've done in the last few years. Um, you know, every game's a big game. So we do need to dust ourselves down and be ready to go and show that same grit and determination that we showed to get ourselves back in the game today again on Tuesday. Yeah, obviously I saw Will Seager, he's got a bit of a hamstring problem today. Yeah. Precautionary rather than No, yeah, I just leave it totally into to Sam's hands, the physio, you know, we've got full faith in, in the work he does and um, you know, Will's had a slight tweak in that area before um, so 
yeah, he's, he's feeling good, but still, I think slowing down still gives him a bit of a problem. Um, so, you know, we want him to be right and not come back too early and be out for a long period of time. So, yeah, we've just got to manage that one and hopefully he'll be ready, if not Tuesday, then for, for the full-on Saturday. Yeah, and then uh, Mess from Tuesday night here. Uh, obviously, they're on a decent run of, run of form at the moment. So, it's yeah. a, it's a, I think they'll be totally different to Louis. So, totally. No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, I think they've scoring lots of goals as well. I think it's five, four, and then three again today. So, you know, a team that'd be full of confidence and come here full of confidence. And, you know, like I say, every team, when they come down and see the massive crowd, the great facilities that we've got here, and you're, you're playing, know that they're playing a, a top side and, and a raise their game. And, you know, we've got to be ready to, to raise our game again and, and provide similar sort of um, performance that we've done in the last few games uh, again on Tuesday. Yeah, and finally, um Nice to see a team come out and play against us rather than some of the, the other teams who, who sit back and it's hard to, to break through them and then they just try and counter. So to have an open game like today must have been a breath of fresh air. Really. No, yeah, that's, Express I, ourselves. I, I've got to be honest, I enjoy watching games like that, to be honest. I thought like as a spectator coming to pay 12 quid or whatever it is to come and watch that today, you'd go away uh, feeling you got your money's worth. And that's all we all we try to do. We try to play entertaining football. And I think sometimes, you know, teams do sit up to, to stop us and, and they're going to, you know, I've got no qualms about what any other team does. And all we focus is on is, is ourselves and ourselves being better. Okay, cheers, Adam. Cheers, um, good luck for Tuesday. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And well done today. Cheers. <laughs>